Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more RimWorld, where Randy has given us, well, a lot of corpses, and we still need to definitely finish out making the crematorium so that we can start burning up these bodies instead of just storing them all here. Although I do also need to strip some people from the looks of it. So, where are we actually starting off here? It is spring, it is the 4th of spring, and soon we need to, uh... We have a doomsday rocket here, single-use rocket launcher for quick retribution. Got kind of lucky that didn't get fired off before. We still have uh, some things that need to be killed. We have a lot of things that need to be built. We have a lot of resources on the map that we just need to pick up. In fact, I need to go ahead and order a little bit more mining. We'll go ahead and start the clock, though. We do have some traders from out of town. I can't remember for sure if I've already talked to them. It seems like I would have had uh, Samantha on it already. So she's consuming a fine meal. Let's go ahead and make sure we didn't miss anything with Bliss Hill. We have an elk that's been dead out here for eight days, but it's been a freezer outside. So definitely want to get that in as soon as possible. Let's see. Bliss Hill, do you have anything else? Uh, we don't have a lot of money. We do have an actual armor vest, which could be good. I guess we hadn't traded with them yet. Yeah, we'll sell the Doomsday Rocket. It's awful. Normal pistol. We do need a few things here. They're mostly weapons, though, so it doesn't seem like there's too much that we need. We do have uh, quite a bit of medicine, which for some reason that's scrolling to the left. They do have a few components. We have a lot on the map, so I think we're okay here. If we look, we have plenty of herbal medicine. And once we get this up and going, we'll have another herbal medicine area. Of course, what we need to also get is this geothermal built. So we've got some new work assignments for everybody. We'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit. We have some miners, we have some constructors, we have some growers. Samantha could probably also repair because we have a few things that need to be repaired as well. Nice thing about our new characters, we have Vladimir who can hunt and who can grow, which is all very good. And then we have a Kamboa who while she has no passion for it, she can hunt, which frees up Belisar to do more mining, do some more cleaning, do some more hauling when it comes down to it. So let's see what Vlad where Vladimir's at right now. We don't have too much to actually hunt on the map right here. So we do need to repair this. We do need to get some components. Yeah, like I said, once we get we actually probably can go ahead and power this up. Although we do need to actually repair it too. So Yuma's where are you at? Trying to build a steel mortal. The visitors from Bliss Hill are leaving. Let me repair this real quick because that actually exploded just when I connected it. So we can go ahead and reconnect this to power. And... You know what? I'm not 100% sure if we have the uh, power to run this just yet. Because if we look at the designated stored versus... or rate gain versus stored, no, and these things move. We may be there, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and cut these off. So once we get the, uh, well first off it's going to be growing season here in a little bit. 11th of spring, we're still in the cold season. And it looks like hopefully we can get, oh we actually have a grizzly bear. Female grizzly bear, we could attempt to tame the bear. Uh, failed taming, 1% chance. Uh, Camboa though. We'll see, we'll see how you do. Hopefully you don't die. Because you do have a 15 in animal handling. So that'll give you a nice challenge. I mean, I would love for us to have a bear here. Better than just hunting the bear. So Maskin is going to go ahead and mine. We're getting a little bit of a map slowdown here now. So let's zoom in a little bit. It looks like we got some more just basic stone on the map all over the place. We got some more elkies to hunt over here. Which those can go berserk too. We got more wood to cut. Like I said, we're doing okay for everything. We've certainly survived a lot of bad stuff that Randy threw at us early. And there's still some challenges that remain on the map. We could have, uh, we have done some spelunking in the cave, so things can appear from that. Especially if I don't uh, sort out this floor. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put some, uh, let's just put wood floor here just like everything else. And then a uh, wood floor here too, I guess. Yeah, that'll be fine. So Vladimir, it's like, a, let's take a charge rifle to some other kind of fight. Let's see what else we can actually 
cut too, because since we're in a boreal forest, we should have wood as a readily available resource. We could just chop down all the trees on the map. Oh, look, we have squirrels. Well, let's go ahead and harvest over here at least. So this will all be berries some way, shape, or form. Hunt that squirrel. This is where our trees are. So we just let them grow on the map. They take a, they take a while to get all the way up. But these are all available to be hauled. These slag chunks can be hauled. So Samantha just hauling wood for a stone cutter's table. Because we actually had to move it over here. Which means I guess we can just reinstall this chair over here. And if we go ahead, because it's good to have good to have places for people to sit. Another one here, another one here. Do we have we have crafting things. Hopefully he's sitting in a chair. Yep. Excellent dining chair. So everyone's kind of working. It's it's working out okay. We only have one entrance into the area, which is going to be a little bit dicey, but we're going to need to start building some other apartments soon. And while it would be nice to probably take advantage of some of the heat shielding that we have in this area, I think I'm going to actually start some of my apartment buildings over here since we already kind of have some connection. So how do we want to do that? First off, what materials do we have? We have a bunch of raw resources that are not getting counted. And we have, uh, we have some more granite chunks. So we can go ahead and start making some uh, granite walls. I guess the first question is how far do we want to go? If this is going to be kind of our growing cube over here. And this can be, well, let's see here. You know what, as, as nice as it would be to go over here, this is going to be more of a workstation too. I do want to keep people close to where they can actually eat. Which means I guess they can walk over here, over here. And we have hospitals beds done, awesome. All right, research now. Uh, fire foam is probably best. Colored lights are pretty good, but let's do colored lights first. I mean, fire foam is going to be pretty exciting as well. Uh, is it under production for the hospital bed? No. Furniture. Steel hospital bed. Requires, oh my god, requires 10 medicine. And only steel. Well, we'll hold off on that for now. That's for sure, because we'll have to we'll have to buy the medicine to make that work. But we have it. So if we are going to go ahead, let's just go ahead and mine out what we know we're going to want to clear up here. Like we have all of these natural mountains. We have some of these natural mountains, and we can use these natural walls in a way that'll let us just kind of have an area over here because since this is this is kind of our dining area right now in Cambodia needs another like actual place to live it wouldn't be terrible to put the prison somewhere other than right here and make this an actual room how does she feel about her surroundings observe corpse joy deprived slept in the cold and it is 46 degrees in there cramped environment shared bedroom ugly environment we're all very happy Bear's not trying to kill anybody yet, so that's a plus. So we have more desiccated corpses. Uh, crematorium. Add a bill. Cremate corpse. Do forever. Yes, please. And we will... Only the corpses that are kind of within our range. So we'll, uh, we'll do it like that. So that means we can clean up all these things and burning the apparel as well. I don't know about that. But Vladimir's at least playing. It's nice. It's like, oh, you have the wind turbine right here, but it's not so bad. So how's our generated power doing? Like this takes, this takes 1500. I think we can actually start growing here, especially if we leave this smelter, which is not connected to power right now for some reason. That wouldn't be great. Okay. Mad animal, steel turret breaking down yet again. Local hair. 
Blow hair. Let's hunt your buddy too while we're at it. Okay, here comes this angry, angry hair. And we have an area revealed as well. I know what area that is. Okay, so Vlad should be able to take that out in time. Show your worth. There you go. So mad hair disease is done. Frozen won't spoil. Area revealed. It's just going to be over here. So this is technically indoors right now. So we need to drop a granite wall there. So like if we can continue this to be the main hallway, we can put the brig somewhere else. Like if the problem is if we put the brig over in some of these places, they'll block the fans. But we want to put the brig somewhere near where food is served. So we may need to rearrange some of these rooms a little bit. Like this is an okay common room. We want this to be kind of a good throughway. So yeah, let's reconnect that. And we can just turn off these heaters before too long. And what are we putting? Growing zone, heal roots. Yeah, that is just fine. Clumsy Mind continuing to craft all the stone blocks. And the snow's actually melting. Outdoors, 45 degrees. We haven't seen the land in a while here. What's Samantha doing? Cutting a pine tree. All right, so that's the start for this power designation. Once again, for these, once growing season's here and once it's warm enough, we can just go ahead and uh, take off everything if that makes sense all right so we got a lot of steel on the map who's our designated haulers and do we have people that are seriously strictly hauling right now let's make let's make that mannequin i mean she has a nine in mining belisar has an 11. it's important that we get this mining done because there's a lot of it but we got a lot of stuff to haul too like we got all oh look the corpses the corpses are burning there's a toque and the nice thing about this is that we don't need to have this on all the time. We are actually going through our batteries. So I'll have to keep that in mind. All right, anybody else that needs to be burned right here? Because we can just shut this off. Oh, other burn corpse. Remove this junk around. Did that elk just get dumped? Dead for one season, one day is rotting. Okay. So let's turn off the power. Okay, so this sun lamp right now, which is still not getting power. Interesting. Well, I think five batteries is going to be enough as long as stuff doesn't explode. So let's follow you for a minute. Flicking a switch, off we go. Hauling, hauling rice. Hauling hair, good. Things going like they're supposed to. And we want this power to be on. Yuma's visiting. Oh, goodness. Let's see what the social thing is. Attempted to woo Sass in the romance. Sass rejected. Well, that's like you're attempting to woo, and yet at the same time you're visiting a grave. So I guess you're wondering what Kinison would do. Unusual cold snap. Watch out for hypothermia or dying crops. Well... It's not growing season anyway. So this is what we expect in spring this time of year. Now, do we have any uh, artillery shells being built yet? We have a machining table. Who's our top crafter right now? Or is it going to be someone who needs to be smithing? Yorkshire Terriers join. Interesting. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh... You know what, I guess we don't need as much tailoring right now. Let's get you to smithing. We could put Belisar on there too. We actually have you as an okay smith. Yuma's is a very good smith, actually. He has a high passion for it. But we have Yorkshire Terriers. Abandoned and lost have wandered to the area. Oh my god, that is a so many. That is so many dogs. They are all tamed. Wow. They are going to eat through our food so much. They're not bonded to anybody yet, so. I hate saying this. 
Let's see here. How many Yorkshire Terriers? One, two, three, four, five. Let's see here. Failure? We'll keep failure. Heathcliff. Beer. What are these names, guys? Stanislav. Setsky. All right, so Seymour. We're gonna save you guys. We're gonna, unfortunately, like I said, we just can't we just can't keep every single Yorkshire Terry that comes up here. So, if I missed a few, congratulations, you live. But we'll see if we can use like a breeding pair or something. Haven't done much in the way of animal breeding in this playthrough. So where's a good place for the animals? Let's go ahead and uh, at least put an animal sleeping spot. We'll put them. Um, We'll put them in the common room for now. That's fine. And cargo pods as well. Cool. Oh, that's meat. We gotta get we gotta get that muffalo meat right now. So you're hauling limestone. Go ahead. Haul this meat. Anybody else we can get? Making a large sculpture. Can't actually haul Belisar. Mining granite. I want you to haul too. We need to get we need to get all this stuff in as fast as possible. All right, so this is on. We are burning through power like crazy. We don't have anybody set growing yet. Although Sass could be doing just that here in a little bit, but he just wants to make a sculpture. All right, a chunk of spacecraft has landed nearby. Good, let's see where that is. Wow, that's really nearby. We need those components. So we slaughtered some of the doggies, that's too bad. We have a bear over here still that's uh, not, at, at least for now, not killing us. We're actually finally getting work done on this. So that's awesome. We have more steel that we've got to get. These components, fortunately, are not falling apart. All right, so how do we want to do this? If we're going to continue a big hallway over here, we can make this, we can just expand this room a bit, I think. If we knock out these walls, if we make this granite, two, three, four, and we can make this an apartment. Yeah, that'll be okay. All right. And maybe we can make this the uh, holding area instead and add a second little doorway over here so we can have two areas. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Do we not have fuel here? Ugh. We could just switch it out with an electric stove, but at least we have wood to add fuel to it right now. So. big thing here for designing any of these is that this is still going to be an interior place. So we'll make these hallways too long. Put this over here. Electric, really the electric smelter that nobody's using broke down. That's great. Let's disconnect and then we research color lights. All right. Color lights are a thing that we can actually do. So wooden chair, machining table, actually have some components. So that's from the mechanoid. Good, things are, things are going according to plan. Need research project though. Okay, we need to build a multi-analyzer before too long. I'm pretty sure we already have one. Let's go ahead and do fire foam. And then if we add a uh, 
multi analyzer, steel, plasteel. We're actually short on gold and plasteel. Just a little weird. Normally, normally we find some gold in this by now. Now I know where plasteel is. Plasteel is going to be. Well, first off, let's go ahead and get the rest of this steel. This is plasteel right here. We just don't have gold. It's nice that we have other resources on the map. But for whatever reason, we haven't struck gold. We've struck jade. That jade's not going anywhere. We've struck lots of machining with chemicals and stuff. And right now, growing season's here. We can grow. We just don't have anybody doing the growing. So let's see here. Belisar, you could be doing it. You're hunting. You're doing all kinds of stuff. Sass is, uh, what are you doing, Sass? You're still making a large sculpture. All right, well, maybe after this. Nope, still making a large sculpture. Well, let's put Belisar back on growing here for a minute because that mining's, that mining job's almost done. All right, so poor mood. Yumaz, why are you in a poor mood? Tell me, dude. Are you just generally feeling bad? Did you get rejected? Ate raw food and hungry. Why don't we have meals? Okay, Belisar, I guess you're back to cooking too because Komba is not actually cooking food right now. It's like all of the order that we have for... Oh, boy. Okay, well, it looks like this is going to be a pipe dream for now. We have a siege coming. A group of pirates from the Red Ships have arrived. They want to besiege the colony and pound you with artillery from a distance. We can wait them out or go get them. Okay, well, this is why I wanted those artillery shells before. Once again, they are not... If they're setting up a base, they're doing a pretty poor job of it. Now, we did have some shells over here. At one point, I don't think we disassembled them. We have not been making any machines here, unfortunately. We're not actually growing anything right now. So how do we want to do this? It's kind of late. Everyone's a little pissed. We have family, family members. Mercenary Gunner Pumpkin is the lover of Vladimir. Well, that's exciting. And these are these are a lot of people that are wanting to siege. Frag grenades, PDW, survival rifle, pistol, sniper rifle, shiv pistol, pump shotgun, steel gladius, assault rifle, sniper rifle. All right, we can do this. We actually have some muffalo over here too. I'll mark them to be hunted. It's too bad we don't have a bear. A bear would be really nice right now, so we need to flick these on. I was hoping to have artillery shells by now so that we could just shoot mortars back at things, but we're not there yet apparently. Let's just let's just turn that off for now. Okay, so everyone's kind of wandering around. Are they actually going to be Oh, they're actually walling themselves off pretty smartly. Okay. What are you guys doing? Let's go ahead and put you back up here. We need to draft everybody except Maskinen, who is a friggin' pacifist and can't actually fight. Alright, so everybody, here we are. We can take the siege straight to them. We do have these steel turrets are all in line. Can actually turn these off too. Anything else we can turn off right now? Can actually deconstruct this bench because we have stone cutters table right there. Actually, I have a few more sculptures. We have a shoddy wooden bed. All right, we're not so we're not in the awful place. We could just be in a better place because we still have a lot of wood. Yumas. You, you are drafted too. All right. So everyone's a little pissed. I understand everybody wants to go to sleep. Did that door ever get repaired? We 
wake up. Good. All right, now what's going to be the best way to go? Because right now we have... Uh, these guys are all still setting up. We do have a lot of trees over here. So we could bring you guys down here. Like, oh man, they have two mortars. Twice the mortars, twice the fun, right? Definitely gotta slow this down. So ninth of spring. All right, sass with the sniper rifle. And probably just go behind this tree. Samantha with the sniper rifle. Probably just go behind this tree. Belisar with the shiv can take some heat. Probably right here. Clumsy mind with the power rifle. Put you over here. Yuma's with the charge rifle as well. It's like it's a good thing we have all these weapons now, right? So Belisar, sass, sniper rifle, maskinen does nothing. Pump shotgun, Vladimir. Charge rifle. How far of a range does that actually have? That has a pretty good range. I mean, we could try and do a pincer attack. I feel like where all the trees are is going to be a better point of engagement. So we'll do it that way. Definitely don't want to put you down there. How's your pump shotgun range? Not very good. So maybe if we put... Belisar back here. Camboa over here. And let's see how this goes. Like, I always find it better just to try and take these guys out very fast. So there's an assault rifle. There's a pump shotgun. There's Doc. We have one person who can be on fire duty. Please tell me, Maskinen, that you will do scary jobs. Please tell me. Incapable of violent. Good. So you're not... Oh, wow. Night Owl. While we're here... Let's go ahead and first off, force joy upon you guys over here. Didn't even realize, and I'm sure someone put it in the comments a while ago. It's like, yeah, Maskinen, by the way, should definitely have her sleep schedule altered here. So anything that's not what I wanted to do. So we'll put your sleep over here. All right. Seems seems decent enough. Look, we learned something else about our group here. Now let's see if we can live or die. So everybody in positions. We have all these great guns. Vladimir's on point right now. So Vladimir, how, how good is your... Okay, you can actually hit some targets here. So you're firing at your bow... We'll let you auto target. Clumsy Mind is uh, in need of treatment. How are you doing? Wow. That's severe injury. Okay, so one down. Let's back you up. Okay, Vladimir, you need to back up. Okay, somebody just exploded there. I guess he grenaded himself. Okay, you need to fire him now. Sass, fire Huxy. Vladimir. And Boa's got a headshot. All right, that's not great. Okay, she's, she's not dead. But she did get grenaded, which is not good. All right, all we're trying to do at this point is just to get these guys out here. So let's go ahead. You can rescue. Actually, you know what? Let's let's have you go here, Belisar. You can rescue. Which means you, Maz, you need to go over here. So who are you firing on right now? Because you're just getting the shot so much. All right. All 
All right, so we've sh we've hit a few of these guys so far. We have a sleeping bunny over here. We have someone operating this turret. Yumaz is in need of rescue, so that's great. Okay, I guess we fall back for it today. <laughs> 